Good morning. Happy Monday. All right. It's a crock pot day. It snowed last night. It's miserable outside. Um, I don't really want to run to the store, so I'm being lazy and I'm using whatever I have in the house. And so I'm going to make like a crock pot pasta, kind of a take on lasagna, I suppose. Tomato sauce and ricotta cheese and some Italian seasonings. Super easy, super quick. Throw it in the crock pot. Forget about it all day until the house smells amazing and you're starving and you go dig in and it's all ready for you. So it's gonna be really easy. We're gonna use some ground beef, uh, onion, garlic, seasonings. It's super easy, so let me get you started and we'll walk you through it. Okay, so I know many of you are observing the fast um, and will not make this recipe today because of the fast or for the next three days. Uh, you could certainly omit the meat, but it is a little bit on the heavier side, and I know that a lot of you do observe the fast, and this may have to be something you would make another time. But this is what we're going to do, okay? I have um, four cloves of garlic that I chopped up, a half of a large white onion, and then in my pot I put a little bit of oil, maybe you know, two tablespoons or so of vegetable oil. I'm gonna throw these in the pot and start to saute them. My trusty old pot. Boy, this thing looks like it's been through a war, but I just cannot part with it. It's my favorite pot. All of you that watch me know that I will probably fall apart the day that this pan goes in the garbage. Anyhow, salt, uh, I'm sorry, the onion and the garlic are already in the pot sauteing, and we're gonna let those kind of saute until the onion becomes translucent and tender and then we're going to go ahead and add our ground beef okay now i added one pound of organic ground chuck to the pot with the onion and the garlic and i'm just going to stir that and get it all brown get the meat nice and brown and we're going to add our seasoning okay let that cook we're going to need salt and pepper for taste you can just put as much as you want I'm going to use this Italian seasoning, about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Um, fennel. Fennel is a great spice for any kind of lasagna sauce that you make. I don't, they're like little seeds. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Hold on, let me open it. All right, a little bit goes a long way. So when I add it, I'll probably add about that much. Okay, and I kind of rub it between my fingers and add it. I'm also going to add one can of the fire roasted tomatoes. Love the flavor it gives them. Now, this is a great um, shortcut. You can buy yourself a traditional pasta sauce, one that doesn't have meat in it. It just has the garlic and um, Italian spices in it. This one's from Aldi. You can just add one jar of that to your sauce. One can of tomato paste. This is the small can. And then I'm gonna use these little, uh, I don't know why Aldi does this, but they only offer these small eight ounce cans of tomato sauce. So you're gonna need at least two of them. And we're gonna add a little bit of water as well. That's why I have the cup back there. And those are the things that are gonna make up our delicious sauce that's gonna go in the crock pot. Okay, so you can see that the meat is almost done browning. Now, you can drain out that Ex that excess grease if you want, the excess fat from the ground beef. I, depending on how much there is, sometimes I'll just leave it because it does add a little bit of flavor to the sauce, okay, for me. This looks like there's a, a lot there today, so I'm going to drain a little bit of it. Okay, I like that better. I drained off the excess fat from the ground beef, and now I'm going to add in my seasonings. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. You know me, I don't usually measure the salt. It's all about a preference. Pepper, oh, about a half a teaspoon of black pepper is going to go in there. A teaspoon of the garlic, this is garlic powder. So you're going to do about a teaspoon of the garlic powder. Let's give it a stir. We're going to add our fennel seeds. Remember I showed you just a few and kind of rub them between your fingers. Fennel it has a licorice flavor to it, a licorice smell, but when it cooks in the sauce, it does not taste like licorice, but it gives it this extra special flavor that you don't get unless you add it. Now we're going to add us about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning in there. It smells amazing already. And just allow the ground beef to cook a little more. 
and soak up those spices. And then we're going to add our tomato sauces, our fire roasted tomatoes, and our, um, oh my goodness, our tomato paste to thicken up the sauce. Okay, now we're going to dump in our fire roasted tomatoes. And the char on those tomatoes, oh, it makes the sauce taste so good, you guys. I love these fire roasted tomatoes. Every time I make a pasta sauce or spaghetti or lasagna, I always add fire roasted tomatoes. It just takes it over the top. Now we're going to add that one jar of our traditional sauce, okay, our pasta sauce. It's 24 ounces, and I'm just going to dump it right in. Now, you're going to also add a cup of water, and what I usually do is I fill up the jar like that because it gets all the other, the rest of it off of there. Give it a good shake. I don't have my camera stand, sorry, so I'm doing the best I can. And now I'm going to dump that one cup of water in there. And now the only other thing that I'm going to add are is my two little cans of tomato sauce. So they're each eight ounces, and I have two of them. So 16 ounces of tomato sauce. Okay. And then I'm going to just add in the small can, the six ounce can of uh, tomato paste. Okay, there's my tomato paste I just put in. And this is a must, okay, for any pasta sauce. Here's a secret. A tablespoon of sugar, okay? It has the little bit of the Italian seasoning there left from the spoon. And now you're just going to mix it up. And now for this, you want it to be rather thick because like with any kind of, you know, lasagna sauce or anything like that, you want the sauce a little bit on the thicker side so that when we go to layer it in our crock pot, it's nice and thick and it's not watery. So now that I've got all that, I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped parsley. I'm gonna go chop about maybe two tablespoons of fresh parsley and I'm gonna throw it in there. If you have basil, you could throw some basil in there. It'd be magnificent. Um, I don't have fresh basil. I always do in the summer. But now I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of chopped parsley. Okay, now I just added in my chopped parsley about two tablespoons, and I'm just gonna let this simmer. I don't know, give it like a half an hour, kind of let it just simmer away. If I was going to um, make spaghetti sauce like this, I would just let it cook a long time. And the more it cooks, the more rich it'll be. But because we're gonna put it in a crock pot, half an hour is good, and then you can go ahead and layer up your dish. So I'm gonna go let this simmer for half an hour, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to build it. So now we're gonna add in our ricotta cheese, okay? I have this um, 15 ounce container of ricotta. I'm gonna put it right in the bowl, okay? 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. It's a great cheese, um, very mild, and it's used in a lot of Italian dishes and especially in a lasagna type meal, okay? This isn't my traditional lasagna that I make, but that's okay. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna do a handful of parsley that's been chopped up. It's probably about two tablespoons worth of parsley. We're gonna add one egg in there. I'm going to add some mozzarella, probably about half a cup of mozzarella cheese. About half a cup of just mozzarella and then all you're gonna do and you're gonna do salt and pepper do a couple shakes of pepper so you get about half a half a teaspoon maybe and about a teaspoon of salt and then you're just gonna mix that all together and that is gonna be one of the layers in your crock pot between the meat and the noodles and it makes it so good and then we're going to add some slices of provolone in between there too so that when you go to get it out it's nice and cheesy and we are going to use the oven ready lasagna noodles they make life really easy because you don't have to boil them first they'll cook nicely in the crock pot all on their own without you pre-boiling them um, you just 
put them in there, layer them with the sauce, and let the crock pot do the work. And that's it. There's your cheese filling. That's super duper easy. There you go. Mix it up and you're done. It's going to be ready to layer in between that beautiful sauce we did. Okay, that's it. That's the cheese filling. Whew, I almost forgot one really important thing with this cheese filling. Oh my goodness, it would have been bad. You're going to need about a half a cup of shredded Parmesan and we're going to use the rest when we layer it. So about a half a cup of shredded Parmesan in with that mozzarella and the ricotta. Thank goodness I didn't forget that important step. So there you go, half cup of parm. Mix it again, and then you're ready to use your cheese filling. All right, so your sauce has been simmering for about, you know, 35 minutes. It's nice and thick. Avi's my camera lady today. You see that the sauce is nice and thick there, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your crock pot and you're going to spray it with some cooking spray and you're gonna put about a scoop and a half full of that, a ladle and a half full of that delicious sauce. It smells so good. Ava, does it smell good? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, of that yummy sauce in the bottom there, right? These are your oven ready lasagna noodles. You can get them at Kroger, you can get them at Aldi. They come like that in a nice little, it'll say oven ready on the box. And you just take your lasagna noodles and put them in there. You can break them up, it doesn't matter. You can do it however you need to do it to stick them in there because you're gonna break it apart anyways, right? And now you're gonna put your, a little bit of cheese on the top of the noodles. You can try to kind of spread it around. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna melt all in there. And it's good. That's why I like it in the crock pot because you just throw it in there and it figures itself out. And I just kind of spread it with the spoon a little tiny bit. Throw another scoop in there. Can't never hurt anyone. And then I have some slices of provolone that I'm gonna put in there too. I think I'm getting about four slices there. Okay, and now we're gonna take another spoonful <laughs> of our sauce. Rob is home just in time. <laughs> Yep, there he comes. Okay. And you're just going to repeat the same process over. So now I'm going to go back in with another thing of the noodles. Hide here and break them up, right? Like that. Doesn't matter, get them in there however you can because they're going to get really soft and you're going to be able to do whatever you want with them. Just kind of layer them in there. Now I'm going to put the cheese, the provolone, and the sauce, and you're going to end by topping it with some shredded cheese and some Parmesan and sauce and cooking it. I'll show you in just a minute what it looks like. Hi. Hi, what are you making now? I'm making some kind of crock pot pasta. Ooh, yeah. that sounds good. Good, we'll be back. So here it is all layered up. The only thing I did was top, finish by topping it with the sauce, some mozzarella cheese, some more Parmesan. Yes, it's very cheesy, but I promise you it's delicious. Just like Man, lasagna. There's, there's a little bit left in here. I know, okay, so Robbie is like, what, what's the problem? There's a little bit more sauce in here. Okay. Why can't we pour it on the top? You want to pour it on the top? It's freaking amazing. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> okay, go it ahead. so much flavor. All right, pour it on the top. You can. can. Have some? Nor no, no. Pour it on. <gasps> Don't you do it. Oh, my God. Now, look at You're using that spoon and dumping it. You're lucky it's just our family. You know you can't do that when you have company, right? Can't be licking the spoon and stuff. Uh, when I was a little kid, I used to do that. Eh, well, I'm from. Welcome to America. You know what I was going to say, but. Oh, I know. Okay, there you go, babe. Oh, you're going to do that? You could have just put it in the middle, honey. Um, no. All right, it's okay. Anyways, you, Robbie babe. wanted to dump you. the rest of the sauce on it. We could have put it all in the middle there, but that's okay. We'll spread it out. Now I'm just going to put on the crock pot for about four hours on high, and those noodles are going to cook really good. What are you doing? I don't want to be in it because I don't look good. I don't look very good. I can't get rid of this runny nose. It's driving me crazy. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're just gonna, I love this crock pot. I've had this crock pot forever. When Robbie and I first got engaged a thousand years ago, it was a gift. And I still have it. <laughs> love it. It's my favorite thing ever. I mean, the buttons are like worn out. I can't even get it clean anymore. So I'm going to put it on high for four hours, and I'm going to leave it. And just four hours? Four hours. 
The noodles have to get soft, Robbie. Okay, that's it. You'll have a snack. You'll be fine. Okay, four hours. We'll come back and I'll show you what it's like when it's all done. See you soon. What do you say? Not yet. How often? Not yet. Okay. Okay. Okay, here it is. It's been only about maybe three hours and it looks really good. You can probably turn it off and let it set for you know, at least a half an hour before you dig into it. It'll firm up a lot that way. I can't wait 30 minutes because somebody's hungry and he wants some now. So I'm going to dig into it now. And, and, and he's hungry and crabby. So here's what it looks like. And I'm going to spoon him out some and put it in the bowl. All right, there it is in the bowl. It's all done. So I can go give his highness his lunch now. It looks amazing. And we'll let you know how it tastes. All right, Daddy. I know it's screaming hot. It's really hot, babe. But I really want to see how you like it. I put the parsley just so it looks prettier. But you can eat it. It's hot, lippy. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? And quick. And that's it, ladies. Crock pot pasta. My take on a crock pot lasagna. I hope you give it a try. Say bye, Robbie. Enjoy a waffi. Goodbye. <laughs>